We are used to hearing that women's salaries are just a fraction of that of men for the same job. But get ready for a surprise tonight. A brand new report from Bloomberg News about one small group of women. Bloomberg, by the way, is the leading provider of business news worldwide. And ABC's Biana Goladriga has what's new. The new report shows that women who run the nation's largest companies, the 16 female CEOs of S&P 500 companies, are far out earning their male counterparts. Their average annual pay over the last few years, just over $14 million. That means women earned 40% more than men in 2009. Think of them as a kind of super breed. Carol Bartz, the CEO of Yahoo, has a pay package of $47 million. Kraft CEO Irene Rosenfeld's is $26 million. And Indra Nooyi of PepsiCo's is $16 million. It's kind of like the 16 Supercorp women are doing well, and um, that's a good sign, but it's not good enough. In fact, women workers as a whole earn just 79% of the wages earned by men. So what do these 16 know that others don't? For one thing, they clearly have honed serious skills at the negotiating table. Studies have shown that most women are far less aggressive in negotiations than men. Take a look at this ABC News Behavior Lab. The volunteers were told they would be paid between $5 and $12 for their time participating in a study. All were offered the minimum. Take a look at how men and women differed in their reactions. I would like the max, of course. More than half of the men asked for more money, but only a third of the women Great. bargained for more. Five dollars okay? Yeah. Great. Of course, giant systemic barriers exist in the workplace that impact a woman's career as well. The 16 women at the top benefit from one thing most don't have going for them. They work for public companies run by boards who can't afford to be seen as shortchanging women while the world looks on. The hope is the few who have made it can start that change from the top. If my job went out there with that kind of earning, I guess I'd want to make a real commitment to seeing that every woman in my company was paid fairly. If I'm being paid like that, I want all of you to be paid fairly, absolutely. And on the subject of transparency, the report also found that female CEOs at smaller companies, those that are less high profile than those in the S&P 500, make a lot less than their male counterparts. So that super 16 is not quite the norm yet, Diane. But they've blazed some kind of trail. Yes. And because their salaries can be seen in part, the only go to do thank you so much tonight.